I went to the XR event thinking they might have learned from the history of activism how not to be pointless. Our online media is very broken, so from the information I received I got the impression there might be a clever, clever spiky, fluffy debate at the XR Big One demo in London. I was hearing different views, with no facts in the weeks up to the event. I was wondering if I should bring a tent, as there was a vibe, hope, that it might be something more than an A to B march. People had said that they were going to take the space around the Parliament and then refuse to move until the government accepted the need to do something real about climate chaos. I tried reaching out and searching online to see if something effective like this was planned, but could not find any facts or real information. The dominant outreach was all dogmatic, fluffy NGO path of asking the government to act, which was so obviously not going to work that I kept to my belief that people could not be this stupid and self-defeating again. I kept looking for information that something useful is being planned. I did not find any. So I gave up the idea of joining an occupation and instead of a tent and supplies, I packed a small bag full of camera gear and headed to London. On all the media I used and subscribed to, I could not find any info on the event. Turning up on the first day, people started to arrive. It was a diversity of fluffy education spaces, being pushed over by the noise of cars and tourists. The only feeling of empowerment was when people overflowed onto the roads and blocked the traffic for a time. This provided a moment of peace and focus free from the car noise. But there was no consensus for this. Stewards and the police moved the people back into the narrow, permitted, pending spaces, and the noise and repression of car culture was back to take away, take away our small sense of empowerment. This was the first day. The second day, more people came. The same fluffy education spaces and a very slow A to B march. It was nice to see the middle classes in their animal costumes. People had gathered, a good thing. But that was it. We were given a bit more space by the police. Our demands went into the government. And a few days later, they were ignored. There were a few more days. I didn't go, but from the little I found on the media it was the same. Earlier at the event I met three original old school activist crew. They gave me some background on the process of how we ended up repeating such an obviously pointless event in such a need for action. It turns out there have been months of NGO meetings to move the event away from confrontation to being one of asking the government for action. The outcome from the NGO side was a diversity of strategies. There would be four days of fluffy, the ask. Then if, well, obviously when this was ignored, there would be a week of spicy, a new term for spiky, traditional non-violent direct action, uh, led by the exile group Just Stop Oil. This actually was not a bad plan. I was kind of impressed. A good working example of the spiky fluffy debate I thought in a moment of hope. So during the event I looked everywhere for announcements and people making this good plan happen. I found nothing. What I did find was a tiny just stop oil tent with some teenagers shadowed between the big pushy NGO tents. Again I was disappointed. This diversity of tactics was becoming an obvious fig leaf for the NGO crew to push their pointless agenda. If any spicy actions came after the government ignored the fluffy demo, then it was not going to get supported. Again, I looked on my media. I could not find anything about these actions on Monday or Tuesday until my partner who's on Instagram said they were posting a video of a handful of people slow marching around London. This was it. I looked on my media again, but could not find anything about this. I looked on the XI website. Nothing. I looked on the Just Stop Oil. Only an email list, telegram channel, no information. At this point, I shrugged and thought about making this video. Hundreds of millions of people are going to die. Billions will be displaced over the next few decades. And this was it? This was it? Really? This was it?